Welcome to Angie's Tasty Tuesday. I'm Angie and I'm here almost every Tuesday to bring you a new and delicious whole food plant-based nutritious meal that you can add into your weekly menu for your family. Today we're going to be making a chocolate peanut butter nice creamy in the Ninja Creamy Machine. Now this is absolutely the best recipe I've found for any of the creamy recipes. My husband actually asked for seconds, which is unheard of. So let's get started. The recipe is going to start off in the microwave and again it's one of those recipes you need to weigh out your ingredients carefully. The, the Ninja Creamy Machine is wonderful but there's a fine balance of ingredients that will give you the perfect mouthfeel, texture, combination every time and once you find it you want to be able to do that over and over again. So this is 400 grams of West Soy soy milk and 125 grams of Lily's dark chocolate chips with no sugar, it has stevia in it. You're gonna melt these in the microwave starting a minute at a time until all of the chocolate chips are melted and incorporated, it's gonna make a chocolate milk. Now part of my milk was warm and part of it was cold, so I can't tell you exactly, but usually it's about two to three rounds at one minute. The one thing you don't wanna do is ever boil the milk. So make sure you do it in a minute and then 30 seconds and then 30 seconds and keep stirring until those chips are completely melted. We'll be right back. Now that the chocolate chips are all melted, it's like a, a regular hot chocolate and I think I might come up with a recipe for this for hot chocolate because this smells so good. We're gonna add this chocolate mixture to the Vitamix. Make sure you scrape in all little there may be a few little driblets at the end that didn't completely go, but you're gonna high speed blend it anyway. To that, I'm going to add 80 grams of pitted dates. And even though I buy pitted dates, you always, always wanna check your dates because if you accidentally get a pit in your Vitamix, you will ruin the blade and ruin your blender. So always just give them a little squeeze and make sure that there are no pits. And depending on the size of the, the date, I can't give you a number count because that's why we weigh it, it's 80 grams. I have 80 grams of tahini. And I know this sounds like an odd combination, but trust me, this makes it so creamy. So you want the tahini that has nothing added. It is simply pure ground sesame seeds. We're gonna add that to our blender. And then our last ingredient is three tablespoons of PB2 powder, which is peanut butter powder that they have had um, taken the fat out of, which makes it much healthier and much more heart healthy for us. Now we're gonna blend this up until it's a smooth, pudding-like consistency. You can see this is a very thick, almost pudding-like consistency. And what I have found for making the nice creams is the thicker your end product, or the more like a pudding your end product, the creamier your nice cream is. Now we're gonna pour this in the nice cream container and freeze it for 24 hours. Remember, do not go past that fill line. You will have a little bit left. I usually just put it in a smaller container and use it for pudding or a pudding topping on something else. Or you can have a separate container and start, if you make more than one batch, you'll have almost a half a container but you really don't have enough to spin in a separate container with what's left in the, in the blender. But it is a really good pudding. So now I'm gonna put the lid on this and freeze it for 24 hours. In this hours. butter pecan creamy episode, I'm gonna review all of the steps you need to use your Ninja Creamy. First, you're going to remove the outside canister. It has a little lock that you push and open. You're gonna take your canister, and I let mine sit out for about 10 minutes before I spin it. Put that in there so that all the little pegs on the bottom line up with the holes in the bottom of the container. Snap on your lid, slide it on, and then you're going to twist it to the right until you hear it click. We're gonna put it on power on, and we're gonna spin it on the light ice cream setting. This takes about two to three minutes, and it is pretty loud, so we will be back after it's done spinning. Now we're going to turn the power button off, and there is a switch right here on the side that you push to release, and it will let you spin, the, spin it back around and pull it out. It's really hard when you're not um, looking at it. Then we use the push button again to release the lid, and you will find you have a very creamy, scoopable peanut butter chocolate 
peanut butter and ice cream. And we'll be right back with it plated. So here we have our chocolate peanut butter and ice cream. And I did, it's totally optional, but take, I reconstituted just a little bit of the PB2 powder. I take a tablespoon of the PB2 powder and about three to four tablespoons of water, reconstitute it to make a little peanut butter drizzle and topped it with some raw chopped peanuts. And you have a delicious dessert. No non-vegan or non-whole food place person will ever guess it's not real chocolate peanut butter ice cream. Now remember, if you like these videos, please give it a thumbs up. It's hard sometimes not knowing if anybody's watching. I'm used to teaching school and having feedback. So those thumbs up really let me know that you're, you're watching and that you appreciate the videos. Also, if you want to leave a comment, remember you can find more of my videos here or here. And until next time, remember, plants are the best medicine.